y'all do over something. Some of y'all got ugly. <laughs> so we weren't ugly to begin with. Huh? No, you've got more. You <laughs> no, did I say you? Are you taking? You taking? I just assumed, you think yeah. I was talking? Why? How you know I was talking to you? I don't know. Oh, no, I wasn't. I might have thought you were one of the good looking guys. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, good energy. Good energy first day. A uh, lot to look at. We'll get to film and see where it goes. But I like the energy. I like the tempo for the most part. Uh, seeing some of those young guys, anxiety, that heart weeks. Sometimes I think the shirt was flying out there about 20 feet. Uh, anxiety of doing things. But it was, it was a good day. They adjusted well. They adapted to the other. The seniors helped them. The upperclassmen helped those young guys. And uh, we'll look at the film and see what we got. But for a good day, a good good energy practice. We'll look at the execution as we go. What is it that you look for in a first practice? Well, I mean, just the tempo, the attitude, the demeanor. Are you willing to learn? Are you willing to be coached? Are you willing to be pushed? You know what I'm saying? And then we'll get to the execution as we go. How early on do you kind of get a feeling for the identity of the team? Does it start right now or has it already been? Yeah, I think it always starts. You're constantly, that's an ever-changing thing daily. I mean, it changes from everything you do. From, you, you feel that from meetings. I mean, think about this. How often do you get opinions on people every time you're around them? Mm -hmm. Am I right? That's actually what a team's like. Every time you practice, every time you go to a meeting, every time you ask them to do something, you know, whatever it is, you, you, you they, they build that character constantly. I mean, first practice. This many offensive linemen since yeah. you've been here, what's that like? You? It seems like you have a whole extra That's team. That's what I told them. They had a whole bunch of them out there. And I said, well, and I said, hey, y'all ain't even going to get tired. Everybody gets reps, you know what I mean? But they did. The way we split it up, everybody gets plenty of reps, and we split it up on the two fields. But I'll tell you what it does, it allows you to work your young skill guys. I mean, it, when you get down to threes and fours, a lot of your guys, and you don't have enough linemen, them guys are having to take every rep, and all of a sudden the skill guys are standing out there and they can't get nothing done because nobody's blocking for them because the other guys are dead because they're taking every rep. And uh, just giving those guys out there gives them a lot. And for our team development, it's going to be really good. Jimbo, going up, uh, what I had asked earlier about uh, the quarterbacks. You asked now. about everything. I know. Yeah. Yeah. The, uh, the guys around the quarterback stepping up, how you like that, that experience should help. They've got to. Uh, yeah, how, how, how did they fare today, the guys around the quarterbacks? Okay, for the most part. Seemed like, I mean, the ones and twos for the most part did. The threes and fours had their ups and downs. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But for the most part, the guys in the first two groups were, were pretty solid about their assignments and things. Any new guys in particular really jump out at you today? Oh, I was, it was going 100 miles an hour. Some of them, some of them you, you're, you're catching flash looks. I'll save that till we look at the film. But I liked all the young guys' energy and their attitude. I really did. I mean, no one looked out of place. Athletically, there's, there's not a miss in the group, in my opinion. I mean, it was guys that can do it. Now we just got to get them taught to do the right things. But And, and all had good attitudes and work at it. Do freshmen in general come in more prepared these days than maybe eight, nine uh, years ago? I, I mean, I think, well, some of that is because you get them in the summer now. Houston never, never got here. This was the first time, think about this, in the old days, this is the first time they ever showed up. So you've had them all, they've had been here for a month, they've lifted, they know the guys, they went through whatever little meetings you get and all that kind of stuff. So, I mean, it's definitely easier for them now than it was in the old days. Earlier you brought up how Rick Leonard put on 30 pounds. When a guy puts on that much weight, does it take a little bit of time for him to get comfortable with it? Well, no, because he didn't, he did it gradually. He didn't do it, you know, he did at the end of spring, he was, he didn't pick up eight or 10. Once we moved him in the fall and in the end of spring, it's about 12, and it's 14, 18. You know, it's kind of went up the right way, and he's kept it. He's ran with it and worked out with it, so it's a good way. And how has he looked movement on this so far? Real good, real good. That way. Marquez a year ago was the new guy at, at corner and was sort of the unknown of that position. Now he's the returning guy and you know, somebody new. How's he adjusting? Really to good. Like? I tell you what, he, he jumped at me two or three really nice plays out there. He just flashed. I got to see why he did. You know what? Did we give the route away or something like that? But he flashed a couple times. It really caught my eye. He, he flashed. You know, I did see him. Is he going to be important for the guys oh, on the other side? Incredible. Because I mean, when you've got one side, you can know what's going on. And how, if you have to help the other guys or do things like that, you know, it'd be, it'd be really critical. I think he has just from a confidence standpoint wise. How's he become a leader just with this whole locker room and just everything? I think just experience and knowledge and, and know-how. And, and you become a leader when you get more comfortable with your surroundings. And he's been out here, he's done it, he's had success. And he's, now he's had success for a whole year on the field. So that makes your confidence grow. And, and also the respect that the other guys look at you with. You know what I'm saying? They look to ask him questions and things like that. And he's done a really good job. Mark Wesley's a great kid. Tim, speaking of weight gain, Dalvin's put on a couple times. Dalvin's about 213, 214. Does he look just as quick as he does? He did. The way he did ran out there, he did. Yeah. Unless everybody else got slower. <laughs> What's that going to do for him to have a few extra pounds? Well, I think the pounding and then that running back, that physicality. One of your pass blocking, taking on, you know, making three yard runs, five yard red zone, tight zone runs, short yardage runs. I think it helps you all the way around. Jimmy, you mentioned the excitement in the freshman, but for you, seven years now here at FSU as a head coach, just the excitement for you of a first day. Nice to be back on the field. You know it is. I mean, you say it all the time, and you know you, it never gets old. I mean, it never gets old, and, and you got to remind yourself that there's so many young guys out there, and as I say, I can see the look in their eyes. Man, them heads were going 100. Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. Talking, they talked faster than I did. You know what I mean? But and uh, but just 
watching those young kids and watch what you know and picturing them now that's what i always say when they say when you get in draft when i picture them that first day you know when i went in the house or that first day of practice and when i get drafted that's the thing you remember and these first days are always remember with me i love them what's impressed you the most on the offensive line this year everything <laughs> i question everything we got to make sure we're doing the right things, calling the right things, asking them to do the right thing. They're playing the right game. We're getting the right guys in. It's, are any young guys, you know, are they moving up on the older guys? You know what I mean? All that. I mean, it's, it's just a, it's everything right now. Hey, Coach, when spring ball started, you said that the team started a little slow. It's, were they ready to go? Ready to go? Yeah, they were. Attitude and demeanor and, and, and energy was really good. It was really good. A few months ago, you mentioned wanting Rod to be a guy to, to talk a little bit more. Is, is he coming along in that role? Do you think? He has leadership wide, but he's still not a big talker. But he, he he says what he has to say. Hi guys, thank you.